So hello and welcome to another Python video. I know it's been a while, but I promise you it is worth it. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Python to compare text to find texts that are similar to each other. And I'm going to give you a real world example of how that works. Let's get started. So I did a talk in October about minor contracts in Spain. So minor contracts are contracts that fall below a specific uh, value and have less requirements than bigger contracts. So, you know, if you're a public administration, you probably want to have less administration. Um, if you have a big contract, one thing that they do is they break it into pieces to fit it into the small contract value, okay? And I wanted to download the data and see if we were able to see that type of behavior. There are different ways we can do it. One of the ways to do it is to actually look at the text for the contract. Here you can see this contract and this contract, the text is almost identical. Sometimes it is identical, sometimes it's like almost the same. They just change like small things or they, you know, when they're breaking the contract into parts. So obviously we cannot do this by hand, but we can use Python to find similarities in text. It's just gorgeous and it works so well. Let me show you how I did it. So this is my Python notebook. I'm not going to type anything. What's the point? I will explain what it's doing. You need a pandas requests, well pandas, if you want to put it in a data frame, otherwise you don't have to. I have punctuation, you know, because Spanish texts have accents and we want to remove them because I saw that in some cases they use accents, in some cases they didn't, so we want to remove on all. We could remove stop words. I found that the badges were better with stop words for this case. And then we're going to use cosine similarity from scikit-learn. So you need to install scikit-learn requests and then that's all, all you need to do. Then I went to the source, it was an API, and got the data out, that's why I'm using requests. I create a small function to remove the punctuation from the um, title, the contract title, and then I create another function to remove the stop words. I then decided not to use it, but this is how it looks. The next thing was to actually put the data into a CSV because this was downloaded as a CSV file. You know, the API gave me a CSV file. And then with pandas, I used the, I put it, everything into lowercase. I removed the punctuation. And again, I didn't remove the stop words. I then use only data for 2024 because it took like a, bit, a day for 2024. I had like six years, so I'm going to let it run on my servers instead of on my computer. So, yeah, so it's a lot better. And then I, I sort it. And this is the result, right? So this object contract of description is the one that we're going to analyze. It's the one that has the text of the contract. So the way that I get cosine similarity works is that for each phrase, so sentence or contract one against contract two, it converts the text into a vector and then it matches one vector to the other. So it's not matching text, it's matching numbers and see how similar they actually are. It's so, so cool. So what happened here is I have a list where, you know, this, this is the final list where all the similar text will be, or contracts will be stored. Then I have another list because if A matches B, I don't want B to match A. So don't run B. I know that B is already been matched, discarded, move on to the second uh, contract, right? And here it grabs the first contract that I'm comparing to, so row one, and then compares to all the rows, boom, 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 boom. Row two compares to all the rows, if they haven't been match already, da, 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 da. and then it goes on and on. And then this converts it into the vectors, and this does creates a similitude um, coefficient that is going to be stored in here. So it will give you, I think they are 70% similar, 60% similar, so something I found is that if their match has a co coefficient of 0 0.6 of similarity, it's like a very pretty good accurate match. So I, I put the limit there. 
So it says, if it is not 0 0.6, don't put it in the list. I don't want to see it smaller than that. I also had that to remove one, but I, I actually, it's a good idea to have one also on the list. So don't remove one. And then just put it into a list, into a dictionary, and then give me the data frame. And this is the results. I'm going to show you the results for real. So here we have, this is the um, contract that was matched with which contract. So this is contract A with contract B. So contract A, we can get one. And you can see, even if you don't understand the language, like, you know, Spanish, you can still see that it is very, very similar. It's doing such a great job. So if you ever need to compare text to see if they're similar or not, give it a whirl. It's very good. It's very accurate. And it's just lovely to see it in action. So I hope that next year I will be able to put more Python videos in here. I hope you have a nice weekend and I will see you in the next one.